What's going on, guys? Adam B. Snyder is back to you with another video. You guys just got your daily dose of cat or cats, but my other cat's sleeping, so you guys only get one today. So I'm up to my one month, not my one month, my one year and two month dread update. Uh, they're getting extra crazy. Uh, I just got a retwist yesterday. You guys can see the roots, but uh, I don't usually wear a do rag or anything afterwards. I just do it and then I go to sleep or whatever. So, um. So things that I've been noticing in the last couple of months is since it's summer, my dreads have definitely been sun dyed. Uh, they're definitely turning like a lighter brown now. You guys can't see in camera, but when you look at it in person and you lift it up, you can see like the radiant difference from here to the new growth where it's like really black. Um, so my plans for upcoming with my dreads, because a lot of people have been asking me in the comments and I've been reading it where people are like, oh dude, you should crush your dreads. They're going to look a lot better. Uh, and I do believe that, but I, even though I do retwist them and interlock the new growth every so often, I'm kind of just letting them do what, they, do whatever they want. I mean, eventually they'll lock up anyways, whether I have straight curly hair or whatever, they're eventually going to lock up anyways. So it's like, why not just let it, let it do it, whatever it's going to do. The three dreads that I did end up blunting, uh, are this one and this one's straightened out. This one's t t doing some weird curliness, and that whole thing right there just started recently. And my last one was, it was one of my skinnier dreads, so the blonde kind of just went into itself, and now the blonde's like half an inch long. Um, but my plans for my hair in the next couple months is, I'm going to keep doing this, but I'm just going to grow out the sides. I'm not going to get any haircut. For like the next, uh, I don't know how many months, but I'm not going to get a haircut on the sides for a while. So that way I can have another line or two of dreads. And I'm, what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to grow those out and probably let those freeform completely. If not, I might just do the sections and then let them freeform completely-ish and, you know, not touch them at all. Because uh, I, love, I love my first set of dreads and I do and I'm not going to cut them off. But my biggest issue is when I did these, I didn't know what I was doing at all. So there was a lot of a lot of things I, you know, panicked on and was scared to do because I didn't know what I was doing. And now, you know, now I have them and they're actually very nice, successful uh, set of locks that I get a lot of compliments from from a lot of people online, whether it's on Instagram or on my YouTube channel. Um... Uh, cause, uh, you know, shout out to all you guys that watch my videos and then actually go and check my Instagram and send me messages on my Instagram. Cause I get a lot of people now. Uh, I get lots of messages from you guys. We're like, Oh dude, I watch your videos. Uh, you have a nice set of locks and that's great. And you know, I love it. So I'm going to keep doing this for you guys and keep posting videos. And like I said, I'm just going to grow out the rest of my hair on the sides for a while. Um, I'm not just going to have long hair, but I'm definitely going to grow it out and get another set of locks, you know, another row down. I'm thinking about an inch by, like, an inch by an inch on the sides, and then grow that out, so see how that comes out. Like I said, I love my dreads. People always wonder how many dreads I have. I do have 12 dreads. Um, they're thicker than they look on camera. So this one, this one's skinnier than this one, but they look the same on camera. Kind of. But they're there. And it's it's mostly because I feel weird that there's this extra space on the sides. Like, when I go like this, you can see how there's, like, an inch or two between dreads. And I wish I had, like, another dread that, come, that came down. Or, I've been thinking, how about I grow it out about maybe six inches and then crochet dreads on there. So, you know, I'm thinking growing it out and going the freeform route. They're just not going to be as long as these original locks. But we'll find out all within time. I also don't know how long I want them. I kind of want them shoulder length. Um, but then eventually I'll cut off the blonde. And I don't know if I want to do that. I don't know how I feel about cutting my dreads. Like I said, they're kind of like babies. I've been growing them out forever. And they're weird. And it's crazy to see the, the sun bleaching and how different my hair color is changing. Uh, for shampoo, I still use the Jamaican Mango Lime Tingle Shampoo. It's great shampoo. Uh, I've never had any problems with it. It refreshes your scalp. Um, and I scrub it into my scalp and everything. And into my dreads. And then I wring out my dreads when I'm done taking a shower. Um, 
So, great shampoo. I recommend getting it online. They used to sell it at Walmart, but they don't sell it at Walmart anymore. Actually, by the time I started using that shampoo, they had already taken it off the shelves at Walmart. So, I kind of just go to, like, African hair stores or anywhere that sells weaves and stuff like that. Like a wig shop or whatever. Um, I don't use the Jamaican mango conditioner. I'm scared to try it. Uh, I feel like it's too much chemicals in your hair. Uh, so, I kind of just stick to shampoo. Um, it's not like you need conditioner when you have dreads anyways. Um, but, yeah, I don't know anything else other than these dreads. Uh, this is the longest I've ever had my hair ever, actually, without cutting it. I mean, like I said, I've been cutting the sides, but I'm going to stop doing that. Um, uh, I occasionally use the Jamaican Mango and Lime Locking Gel. Like I said, I kind of stopped using that, too, because I feel like it's too many chemicals for your hair. And I want to keep my hair clean and healthy um, because obviously healthier locks means your hair is going to be healthier in the long run. And if I keep my locks for a while, I don't want to be like, you know, I want to keep my locks past, you know, let's say I'm 40. I don't want my hair to fall out because I've used so many chemicals when I was younger or something. You know, as you get older, uh, your hair tends to fall out because you use that many chemicals and shit in your hair. So I don't want that to happen. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, check out my Instagram. It's going to be uh, Little Chubby 402 um, You can check out my Snapchat at CoolKidEd11. And my girlfriend brought the cat over. Peace. There he is. Uh, so please go do that. Like I said, check out my Instagram. Send me a DM on Instagram at Little Chubby 402 uh, We stay big flexed up. We making big moves now. 2K18. Hey!